Hey there. Um, can't hear you if you are trying to be connected. Let me see if it's my settings. Uh, no, it should work on my end. Hello. Hey, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hey, it's your face. Oh yeah, this is my face. I forgot I had my. <laughs> I've never seen. I've never. I've, yeah. No, now I know what you look like. Um, yeah, unless it's all a filter. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this is just your AI. One of your AI generations. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't have video on this just because it's my desktop. So. Yeah. Um, it's all streaming and stuff. Um, so. Yeah, man. Thanks for thanks for joining that, that live space. Mm -hmm. uh, it was I think it was okay. Oh, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I'm I, I'm looking at I'm in on cyber now. So I'm just gonna. I'm sorry, man. My, my kid downstairs is is with my part my, my wife, but um, yeah, he's have he's having a moment, and he's he's screaming for me right now. So I'm gonna have to. <laughs> That's just... good. Take your time. If you need to go uh, find him, uh, I'll I'll just wait for you. It's no no rush. All right. Cool. I'll, I'll just be a sec. All right, take your time. I think All right, I'm back. All right. He just wanted his dinosaur. <laughs> Can't go without your dinosaur. <laughs> Fucking Nazi over here. Just depriving the poor child. I know, I know. Oh yeah, you're gonna you you're gonna be a, your face is gonna get real, real big at the in a second. So this is kind of how it's if <laughs> if you don't want to look at yourself that I totally understand. You can turn your video off. It, this is a bit too intense. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I'm noticing I should probably turn my audio off for on cyber right now. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's probably a good idea. Is mine off as well? Yes. So um what we're gonna do is uh it's a little clunky. It is. All right, so oh, on cyber is not really it's glowing, given uh, on cyber glowing reviews on, on that live spaces chat. <laughs> I love the slight like tilt. <laughs> oh, is that good? The slight tilt? I, oh. I think it's kind of fun. Uh, I would not like tilt it toward you because that. Uh, okay. I don't know. I, I I was enjoying how it was like clipping through the stage, but that uh, I think it's better to have it actually look the uh, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. 
All right. So yeah, more or less it's going to be something like this, right? And the stream is just going to be live the whole time. Um, I wonder. So so the, the the tricky thing I think that I can see the panelists having is they're going to come on, they're going to join in the space. And then, um, and then they're gonna have audio, double audio going on. So they will need to mute their, yeah, mute their their um, panel. Yeah. So we'll have to show them how to go to their output device and hope that they have one that is not working. Like I'm using my virtual audio cable, um, but there might be another way. Um, I guess what they could do is if. I don't know how it is for uh, Mac, but you can sometimes select specific things in your volume settings, like so. Uh, like Chrome would be uh, turned off, whereas the, I'm trying to think about what the most simple solution is. Um, yeah. Out yeah, in the so what's happening now? Like, uh, if uh, can you hear? Like, if you're in on cyber, can you hear the the chat going on? Uh, right now, I have mine, uh, my audio device set to one that doesn't work. But if I set it to my standard device, then yeah, I can hear it. I uh, think it's good for me. Yeah. Uh, oh god, now I'm getting that. I'm getting that conversation from like two minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about clipping the stage, and I was like, wait, we talked about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I fixed my on cyber. And oh, you know what? Even. If I look at the screen, it causes it to. Oh uh, yeah, so put I mean, that needs to be everywhere. The audience is like, yeah, constant everywhere. So as we're talking yeah. uh, with ourselves, talking of ourselves, what I'm noticing is that if currently, if I like point my my cursor at the screen, then I start hearing the audio, even though I have uh, my audio uh, settings set to an output device that shouldn't give me audio. So I assume that mostly refers to uh, audio from actual people uh, talking inside the on cyber, but the audio from the on cyber video that's playing right now is a separate channel. Oh. But so if but what happens if you just mute your browser? Yeah, I can try that. What does that mute your Google Meet? As uh, well? Unless I use the separate browser, that could be one solution. But um, let me see if I can mute specific tabs. Hold on. Um, I'm. I don't know how to do that, so I'm looking at a YouTube video on how to mute specific tag uh, tabs. Um, all right, you need to have developer tools turned on to do that. Uh, damn, that's tricky. Yeah, you know, dealing with all these panelists, getting them to do that—that's just not possible. No way. Um, I'm gonna think for just a second here. Maybe there's a solution that's simple. You know, it would be the easiest solution would be, well, not the easiest, but what could be a possi possibility is for us just to fake it. You know what I mean? Like, so put up the speakers, because they're just going to sit up there on the boxes. Mm -hmm. So we could just, like, put four fake avatars up there, you know, <laughs> log into four browsers and just walk up there and let them sit there. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to do anything anyway. I like that. I like that a lot. I mean, it's a lot easier for the panelists to. Yeah. Uh, will that? Um, I guess if you have it set to like low quality and everything, it should not be too much of a compute issue. Yeah. Can you have it open in uh, like uh, multiple users with the same browser? Um, the only way to do it would be to use four different browsers. Um, well, you could probably do. Hmm. Yeah, you know, you can do on a Chrome where you can create different profiles on Chrome. Right, right. So you can create different profiles and then that considers them as almost different browsers. But then what's tricky is that each one of those would need to be logged into um, an address. 
because you you can only change your avatar i think i might be wrong about this actually can you if you log in you can log in with socials so if i try let's say an email i could do um and magic link okay let's find that copy link address Oh, well, it should right. be fine either way, like, because there's only two of us. Um, there's two of us, so we could, you could take two, and I could take two. Um, I'm yeah. I've, I have another laptop which I could, which I could run that on, and then just what we can do is we just have them always seating, and then just change the profile picture. Yeah, let me see if I can change just the name to say, um, let's say Van Ken, um, artist save here's a name already exists um artist talk okay so oh it didn't update let's try again maybe, maybe i just have to refresh i'm um using my second uh, my my guest account to make this one work there we go uh it's coming up with a name now and so i'll stand yeah. up on the stage easy that works bada bing bada boom and yeah if... <laughs> oh i'm way funny. too close to the screen <laughs> since i'm sitting here and it's playing the audio <laughs> uh yeah yeah oops oh, yeah God damn it yeah that would happen right because you you're listening to the audio but you can just mute your no it's the same yeah issue. It's it's the same issue we're gonna have because now you're gonna hear that audio. Yeah. Oh, you know what? There is a simple. Uh, if you right click, uh, if you're using Chrome, you can right click your tab and say mute site. And it just mutes that one tab. It appears to be so. Uh, let me try it on this one uh, on my main. Oh yeah. Site. All right. I think that yeah, actually that's, is easier than it. yeah. And then our artists can still be there and like. Uh, be logged in, check it out. And if they are unable to make on type of work, we can have a dummy account. I assume most people use Chrome. Yeah, cool. That's that's much easier. Then we don't have to worry about all the because I, I think I, I think they'd probably I've already sent out the brief that, that this is what they need to do. So it is probably easier to stick to that brief um, than tell everyone, hey, we're changing plans. Uh, especially as some of them already tested it. So that works. Let's 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 keep it as is. Um, the only added thing is we just make sure that they mute their tabs. Yeah. Um, by clicking on the right click on tab and muting it. Yeah, because I'm I'm actually I've done that too and it's it's working right now perfectly for me. Yeah, me too. All right, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna close PC and B. There we go. Another thing we're gonna get is people asking, how do you uh, get up on the stage? Because. <laughs> There's no like, there's no ramp. It's all just, you know, it's just that that collider is just like a block. So the only way to get up on stage is either to jump or to the, the, probably the easiest way is to tell them to climb up on the hill and then walk up. Yeah. So that's just something platforming to, keep, to. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Something to keep in mind because there's definitely going to be a few a few people who are like, how does how do I move around? And I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be mm -hmm. hilarious getting them up on stage. <laughs> oh, actually. Another possibility is to just give them the coordinates directly, so that they're, so when mm. they log in, they're on the stage. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you can copy that from the URL. I see it updates automatically. Mm. Probably easier, and they don't have to fuss around with. Um, and also, I think they need to press. They have to be in first player, third player mode to sit. I believe. Um, yeah. Oh no, you can sit down. Yeah, that's cool. You can do it in, in third player too. Never mind. Okay. All right. Cool. So, what oh, I'm here. thinking is this your nice your avatar thing? is moving around whilst in the sitting position, despite being in the middle of the stage. Uh, so here's got locked into. Oh, it's good now. Okay. Oh, I was in. 
What was happening? Oh, your avatar was like looked like it was sitting, but it was moving around the stage. Oh. But now your avatar is just sitting in its seat, and now that you got up, you're normal. Okay, it must have been the glitch on my end. Uh, okay, and now it's not. I'm just replicating what I was doing before. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so. Okay. Oh, it's um, happening. <laughs> oh, is it? I'm moving. I'm moving around now, though. Okay. Yeah, the animation hasn't updated them on my end, and oh, that's now it has. Funny. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, the, the only thing, one thing I'm, I'm slightly worried about is why it stopped playing the live. Is are you? Yeah. When you click on the screen, are you? Um, um, is it playing like? Is the red bar right at the end of the screen, or is it? What's what's happening there for you? Uh, so it looks like if there were a red bar, it would be below the the deck, just because the screen is kind of clipping through at the bottom. Um, oh, I, can but see, I, I can see the red bar. Okay, I don't see it actually. Um, Click I'll on the screen. screen. I'll refresh. Yeah. Oh yeah. The way to do it is you have to press escape and then click on the screen. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to refresh as well. I'm curious to see, like, if you reload, if the live stream is, you know, where it starts. Yeah, I thought I had the oper the ability to pause it at some point, but um, that would mean that it would be desynced. Okay, yeah, so coming into the room, I just see the... It starts off as sort of a, a a YouTube thumbnail with like the play button on it, but it automatically starts playing. And then I saw That's the good. red bar and was at the end. Um, but let's press escape to try to control it. Yeah, I can control it if I press the escape button, but otherwise it just keeps on playing. Okay, that's good. So, so that means if people join in on the space, it join it. Yeah, the live is is at the most uh, updated, uh, unless people click on the site and decide to scroll back. Well, then that's 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 their fault. That's their choice. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool if, if YouTube had a a way to force that, but um, I'll look into that. It might be an option. Um, okay, cool. That's good. So I was thinking the way it would run. So for the panels, I've mostly just told them, hey, like, it's pretty informal chat. Like, this is the topic. I want you guys just to go off and, you know, chat and, you know, discuss and, and um, see where it goes kind of thing. Um, instead of it being too like formal, you know, that's why there's basically not like a moderator, right? Um, mm -hmm. But I have told on each panel, I have given one person the sort of responsibility to kind of, you know, keep the conversation flowing. Um, but what I think would be good is just for us to both be there in case, in case things get really dry and like mm -hmm. awkward that we kind of promote you know in, in in the way we do with the art tours um just ask some questions around the topic and see where it goes um you know we're we're, we're both pretty okay at that i feel like without being too prepared um just mm -hmm. to go off with how they're going but um we'll, we'll start every, we'll start each panel with uh me kind of i'll just introduce the panel introduce everyone and then um, just ask them both to introduce themselves and um, and feel free to yeah feel free to kind of discuss the the topic. Um, I'm I'm a little concerned that they're just going to sit there and be like yeah but what do we talk about? Um, <laughs> so we'll, we we probably might just need to get the, you know get the conversation starting between the two of us. Um, and then we can see how it goes. talk about like processes if we're talking about generative art or. Um whatever, like, votes, people's votes. We're pretty good at this, like you said, yeah. Yeah, and there's, there's, there's kind of, there is topics around, um, there is, there are kind of topics around, around each one. So, so VR, AI doesn't have necessarily have a specific, but, you know, we can always fall back to, like, VR and AI in Web3. And, you know, what is it, uh, what, what is happening right now? Where do you see it kind of thing? Um, after yeah. they introduce themselves, and that that's an always easy one. And then the generative generative one is about experience, so focusing really on kind of the experience of generative art, 
um, whether it be on a platform or IRL. And of course, we've got Bright Moments, who can talk probably a lot about that. Um, and then Zancan has been to a lot of these events and is part of so many events. And Aussie, who, you know, basically from FX Hash, they probably have a very strong opinion. So I feel like that's going to be an easy one to get going around that specific topic. Um, Jordan Bain from Film 3 is basically running that herself. Um, so that's easy. We don't have to do anything. The is that you, by the way, there's another uh, avatar in here. No, might be one of the artists checking oh, there. Hi, um, buddy. Don't mind us. We're just chatting. Um, <laughs> actually, our mics are off, so they don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Uh, that's true. That's that's a really good point. But they will hear the live, the live stream, <laughs> <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, so, yeah, we... Um, I might just say we. Uh... Oh, by the way, will you and I have our cameras uh, on, or uh, are we going to try to focus on primarily the artists? Uh, so say again. Oh, uh, for the Google uh, Meet, would you? Would it be like more? Uh, I guess I don't know what I'm looking for. More aesthetically uh, consistent for you and I to also have our cameras on, or would that be distracting? I think we keep ours off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we, I'll just, I'll just pin the ones who are involved in the chat. Um, I'll make you admin of the Google Meet because I'll probably need help um, with this. Um, and what I mean by that is, is I'll get you to um, help me with the waiting list side of it. And I don't know if you know much about how to do that, so it might be worth just looking at Google meet and seeing how we can do waiting rooms because then yeah. essentially what we want is um whoever's next to come in to be waiting in the in the waiting room and for us to just kind of leave them there and 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 yeah if the panel's still going on but at the same time yeah hold on a sec just give me a second it's hard to it's hard to talk when my kids are calling me more call yeah. my name give me a sec okay All right, you're going to hear some kids in the background, but it is. That's all right. Um, yeah, I think this is the part that that I'm still trying to figure out a little bit. So let's let's figure it out. Um, so yeah, when when I used to work uh, for the Ottawa Animation Festival, we used to we did it all through Zoom, and so the meeting rooms were a part of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't used waiting rooms with Google Meet, so I'll look into that. Um, have you used them before? I haven't. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, it can work in the same way that like panels work on Discord, where the meet host can turn off quick access. This will keep people from joining until they are actively admitted by the host. And so we can Just like. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, so how do you do that? Good question. Uh, have you set me as uh, an admin already? Oh, uh, no, I haven't done that. Let's uh, let's do that. Oh, you left the meeting. Are oh, you back? Sorry, yeah. Uh, I was thinking if I was uh, had the admin ability. Um, I'm going to try joining from my dummy uh, browser so that it is like it's trying to get in. OK. All right, don't let it in. Um, I'm waiting to see if I see anything. Are you getting a notification that someone's trying to get in? Not yet, no. Hmm. Yeah. Breakout, oh, here you go. Breakout room controls. When host management is on, 
Uh, breakout rooms will start with the same rain room settings. Join a breakout room to customize its settings. Okay, so that's what we want essentially. Yeah. Um, also, in terms of the layout, do we want to do tiled or spotlight? You know what I mean by that? Uh, spotlight, I think, is when it spotlights a specific person to talk. Yeah, and so it kind um, of flashes around. I find that a bit jarring. Um, that's right. Yeah, I think I think we just put the tiled. I, I tiled. I agree with you. All right. Okay. Oh, I see it. Yeah, breakout rooms. Uh, pools, whiteboarding. That's mm, breakout rooms is more for if you're like hosting something within Google Meet and um, and you want people like to go into another room to talk about things, but it's okay. Mm, probably not best for this use case. Um, I'm trying to figure out why my alternative uh, thing here. Let's say allow asking to be let in. Uh, there you go. Yeah, admit, but. <laughs> but um, Okay, let's see what happens here. So I've got, can you see that you're not admin control, so you probably don't see this, right? No, I don't see anything. Let me see how I can add you as admin. I think that's probably what we should do first. Yeah. Um, does control. like the little ellipses by my, by my name there have any options? I just have pinned a screen for mine. Yeah, you'd think, you'd think that, um, when you have the dot 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 next to a name, that's where you can make someone a host. But you know, it doesn't it doesn't have that option there. Oh, here we go. So, no. There is an option, which use these host settings to keep control of your meeting. Only hosts have access to these controls. So if I turn if I turn host management off, it means that it lets everyone which I think is okay. Because no one's gonna be break, trying to break anything. You should be able to now do everything I do. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll give it a refresh. I don't see but asking to be let in. Is it still showing for you? Um, it Yeah, it is. It's there. I can see. OK. I might still not be a host yet. Um, let me see real quick. Add host to Google Meet. I'm going to search it and see if something comes up. So you might have read this already, but I'll repeat it. Uh, in a meeting, tap the screen. At the top left, tap the meeting name. From the people tab, find or search for the participant's name. Then next to the name, tap menu, and then add as co-host. What's that last bit? Uh, tap uh, menu? Like the, the three dots, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured it would be. But um, all that comes up is pin to screen, don't watch, and remove from the call. Very strange. And that was after uh, adjusting the uh, permissions with the, what was it called? Too many tabs. Uh, the host management? Mm. Yeah. How about if we both refresh? Let's do that. Uh, let me see if there's an alternative way. I think like using Google Calendar there was something I saw. 
Um, host management is available to all Google Workspace editions. Uh, okay. Do you have a uh, workspace? Yeah, about? I'm on. I'm on, I'm on like a, a two week free trial of the workspace, so it should oh, be perfect. Should be possible. Yeah, it's cool. Like it allows you to live stream through the, through to YouTube directly from Google Meet. But yeah, can't see this. Um, okay, I'll, I'll log in with my other email with uh, my Quitters Arts at Gmail and see if maybe that one can work. What's what? Yeah, okay, let's try that. It's it's strange though that you know I'm just getting no settings there. I think that's the. I'm just wondering, um, maybe it's not. I mean, it definitely getting you to be admin um, is is important. So we'll figure that out, but. Uh, just to go back a little bit, I'm thinking um, the whole breakout room might not be necessary um, because essentially, like once a, a stream, once a chat is over, like once a panel is over, we're just going to stop the stream. Um, so we won't stop the we won't stop the live meet, the the Google meet. We'll just stop the stream inside inside on Cyber. So okay. once that happens. Um, we can then just boot everyone, you know, tell everyone who's on the current one, thank you, and and ask them to leave, and then just accept everyone else who's waiting, right? That's probably the easiest way to do it. And then if we can have a quick chat with them, and then before, make sure everything's good, and then uh, when everyone's good and on the call, then we go live, and, and I put the stream inside on Cyber. Because we're we're really the, the easiest thing for us is just to say um, when we're ready we put the stream on in Cyber and when we're finished we take the stream out we get everyone in Google Meet and then we put the stream back on in 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 on Cyber. I that like that. Yeah, sense? that makes That's sense. Probably, yeah. probably easier than than dealing with breakout rooms and all that. And then we just communicate with each panel. We just communicate with. Um, with people in the in the Twitter DM group, uh, make that the the main source of kind of communications. Nice, and that's the uh, Twitter DM group. Yeah, did I added you to all those? Yeah, I saw. Okay, I'm not sure if I added you to I'm, all of them. VR, AR, generative experiences, um, art panel, film screen. I didn't add you there. That's it. Yeah. Music? Oh, I could do with the music. I see I just got added to film three. Okay. Into that music. Also, the person walking around is uh, Strano. Ah, uh, cool. Strano. Oh, no, I just wrote Strano. Strano? Strano? <laughs> oh, uh, you don't, you, now you're making me doubt, I presume, Strano. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds a lot better. Like Strano sounds like a product that you use to like uh, strain your uh, bathtub. So I assume Strano is. That's also the good thing about like the quick little pre meet is to ask people to clarify things like uh, pron pronouncing their names, pronouns, etc. Now you got me. Now you got me doubting. Maybe maybe Strano or Strano can can tell us in 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 the chat in the space how to say it <laughs> properly. Now I've just presumed the whole time. But yeah, I've never heard people. Someone there was the same thing today. I, I was like in the in the Google Meet. I said, uh, oh, "So stupid." I said, "Willie guys," and it's Wiley. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Hey, Willie guys." <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think, uh, and his name's actually Guys Willie, you know, or Willie, not Willie guys, or the other way. I don't even know anymore, man. Yeah. That's hilarious. All right, just Okay, cool. That's um, 
that's cool. So that's that's pretty pretty simple then. Um, we just the, the hard part is just going to be the timing of everything mm -hmm. and making sure that we just have to really be I think strict about making sure that things run on time and wrap things up when they when they need to. Otherwise, it's going to get out of control and people are waiting and all that. So we could um, like uh, play the Oscars yeah. music uh, that they play when the. The speech goes on too long once the meetings uh, get to the end point. <laughs> I love it. Let's do that. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find out what the audio is for that. We'll, we'll find some music. Um, okay, cool. So, so we'll, should we say they we'll, we'll cut them off at around 15 minutes past every hour? Five zero? Yeah. So we have 10 minutes to kind of get ready with everyone else. And I'd, I'd say also if you wanted to keep track of the DMs, um as well i think we'll, we'll, we can both keep track of it probably at that point yeah. um and let, let's just see how we go i guess and tomorrow we'll probably start about five or ten minutes um later just to let people come in so instead of staying starting right on time it probably doesn't make sense let people walk around and stuff first um so it'll be the shortest panel that should be pretty quick yeah i i yeah so would you like me to be there about half an hour early or earlier than that I reckon half an hour is okay. Um, okay. I'll start the stream, get get that already half an hour before, so that you can have a check, make sure it's working. Um, I can. So the the thing we need to do, I've got to jump into another another space to talk about the art tours with the curators there. Um, I'm running a bit late in that, but I think we're good, right? Yeah, I think we're good. This is going to go okay, cool. very well. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be. I think the first cup, you know, it's it's probably going to be a little bit chaotic for us in the beginning on behind the scenes maybe but yeah. uh, we'll find our groove and as long as the audience doesn't see that right it doesn't doesn't really matter and and the panelists feel comfortable i think that's also important um but sure. we, we've done these we, we know what we're doing um yeah and i think the the biggest thing with these panelists is not to come join google meet it's for them to join the spaces on in on cyber so um perhaps that's what we do we just kind of um we encourage them to go into the space uh maybe 10 maybe 10 minutes before or even 20 minutes before it starts the, the panel starts just send a message in each group to like hey we encourage you to go in the space and hang out and get a sense of it and then log into the google meet um you know in in 10 to 15 minutes and then um that should at least kind of give them a, a little brief before we before we get going yeah that sounds good because uh we'll need to talk them through getting their microphones turned off on the on cyber yeah. and uh getting the tab muted but that's pretty much it exactly exactly yeah um probably uh get, i'll probably get a screenshot or just quickly do a screenshot when when they're ready uh and highlight because you know some, when you say right click tab people people don't know what that means half the time so we'll probably just give them a screenshot huh? oh, okay <laughs> All right, All right, sounds well, good. Um, uh, get, sounds like, going. Yeah, absolutely. All right, it was good talking to you. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, I'll I'll probably reach out. Let's figure out the co-hosting thing. I'll I'll look into that a bit later. I think that's probably the only thing, and then everything else. Yeah, thanks, man. All right, bye. Cheers, bye.